Dollar. Hey. DJ Moski, let's get it. We the champions here in Los Angeles. We doing numbers. Bring it home victory straight out the huddle. I met the plug, introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. Gang in the building, we taking it over. Call the promoters. I just pulled up in this thing with my soldiers. I blew it and I'm still. That's me, I'm a Nimi. Call up Khalifa. Brand up in the. You know I stay with some bad baby. TGOD, baby, know that's a gang gang. Crazy girls after the game. We throwing hundreds, we going the same. Point us, point us, point us, point us. Dead homies got me point us, point us. We get awards when we get got the glory. I'm shooting my shot most times. I be scoring, do this for my city. I bring on the truck, feel like. It is a beautiful night for football here in the Midwest as we are at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. You see, it's two type of people in life. It's people that wake up and wish they had it. It's people that wake up and go get it. We go get it, baby. Photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now nah, I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. Part my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son then go go get it top floor top dog like i just signed a tde gang gang gang, 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 gang. no we all gotta eat gang, gang. up late bills do rent do i ain't been asleep Woo. looking in the mirror all i see is everything that i wanted to be me. my city depended on me that's on god grew up watching my mom become what daddy couldn't be hot yeah. ball like mlb these bottega boots ain't it is a beautiful night for football here in the Midwest as we are at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Tonight, we're on to week two of the NFL season as we've got a good one here between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. That a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. They will start on the ground. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, this defense for the Chargers, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. The Chiefs at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to get that road victory in the opener. And now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Open man is Fortson. He's got it. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have 
when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength, he's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. It's a four yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And a throw there going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at the 20. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. They'll run for it. Chubb, and he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. Just enough push up front. He only needed about six inches. He didn't get a whole lot more than that. No, but he made sure he got enough so they didn't have to worry about measuring it or making it even close. Ends up picking up a couple of yards in a situation, as you noted, where he only needed inches. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Now Herbert gives this one to Kelly, and he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll go again with Kelly, and he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. They'll try the air now with Herbert. And that one complete downfield to Allen. Touchdown, Chargers! Keenan Allen, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Chargers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now a 7-0 game. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away 
And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like... Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. And the Chargers are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is. And then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get his second one. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Herbert jet sweep as he taps it forward. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, a nice, consistent game. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and oh. Here's first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down, here's Chubb again. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. CD, put on your OC cap here. What do you do? Second and one, you get stuffed. Now third and one. You know, in the old days, I would have said we're going to line up and we're going to run the same darn play and we're going to get it right. But nowadays, as tough as defenses are, I want some mobility. I want some movement, putting the ball in the hands of my quarterback and giving him a run pass option. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 44 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. And this is caught. Touchdown, L.A. Jalen Guyton, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers go up by two touchdowns. Hopkins with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On play action, it's Mahomes. And no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. 
And they're going to get this up to midfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. Mahomes again here on second and ten. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They'll get 34 yards there. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes being chased out left. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively, and it's second down. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half walks. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez-Scantling. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When he'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and now he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15... The risk-reward, it's just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. <laughs> That's darn right. Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. But no kneeling for them. They decided they weren't going to run out the clock. They decided to take their shot downfield, hoping to either make a connection or a pass interference call. They wanted more points to put on the board. To throw again on second down. Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Herbert on first down now. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They go with Chubb on second down. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On first and 10, Herbert sliding out of the pocket. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. The final shot before the break for Herbert. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. 
And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So we have reached halftime. Intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, so the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. The Charger drive about to get going. The third quarter starts with a run by Chubb. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 70 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run it again with Chubb. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And Chubb will try the middle here. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten from the gun. It's a give to Chubb. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They give the Chubb out of the gun. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. With that last effort, he topples the 5,000-yard mark for his career. And that doesn't place you among the absolute greats that have ever played the game. But it's a significant achievement and a very, very solid career. They'll try and run for it with Kelly. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Here's Kelly on fourth down. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that... ...at the front... They won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And again, it's Chubb. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Play action this time for Justin Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Handoff comes to Chubb. And he pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So on comes the kicker, Dustin Hopkins, in a big spot. This to make it a two-score game. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. To throw, it's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mahomes. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Michael Davis. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. But just to add that to the list of great moments for this defense today, they've really shredded that game plan on the other side all four quarters. 
And Charles, that pick six, that's that's kind of the cherry on top. Yeah, they did it, and I feel like I'm quoting a bad movie line, but they did it together, didn't they? Fed off of each other, every big play they made, every tackle, every pick, everything they've done. They continually built energy in this one, and how about them culminating with a pick six? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they'll start at the 25 as McKinnon decides against returning it. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Here's a second and two now from the 33. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Mahomes now on first down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. And unable to connect. It's incomplete. And the clock stopped at eight seconds. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez Scantling with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Chiefs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. One final try for Mahomes. Dancing to his left. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. They're going to 
going to pass here with Herbert. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Won't be enough, but here's a final chance at the extra point. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And it's incomplete. It was an exercise in futility anyway. It doesn't affect the final outcome, and this one's over. So they tried to tack on two more. Wouldn't have mattered as far as who won and who lost, but that's how this one ends. Felt like cosmetics, didn't it? Just put another two points on the board, make the score look a little bit better. Maybe they wanted to run a two-point conversion just to see what they had. Who knows? But it just wasn't necessary. So, for the Chargers, it's a dream start. Two wins in two early road games. And they'll get a few days to savor this one before they take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one. and they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. Told you be ready. You always got excuses, and you know I'll be on top of things. Punctual my proper name. On the dot is not your aim. Although we in love, we are not the same. Uh, I hit you on that celly. You said you needed five. That was more than 12 ago. Claim you got your hands tied. Time stuck like Velcro. Georgia Peach on east side like it's ATL. You lacking. You tripping. You slacking. Impatient.
to tonight. Just don't care. Playing games, girl. Bring your downstairs. something in the house. To the coffee, just being honest. 